This calligraphy clip, Spacing 2, emphasised what I was explaining in calligraphy clip Spacing 1. I'm starting with this quotation from the great letter cutter David Kindersley because this really is all what spacing is about. It's not enough simply to know what to do. You've got to have experience of it so that you can really understand. So when we're looking at spacing between letters, here the spacing between letters is very, very tight and the lettering looks quite jerky. So in calligraphy clip spacing one, I explained that between the letters, there should be about the same space as between the strokes and that's obviously not the case here. However, to have too much space means that it's as difficult to read. The letters don't hang together as words, particularly in the B experience to have. We need the lettering to look even, to be readable and to be a pleasant experience on the eye. If you don't have enough space between the words, and there should be about the same space as the letter O between the words, then it's also very difficult to read. Again, this line, it, you've got to struggle, be experienced to have, because there just isn't enough space between the words. However, too much space also means that it's not a pleasant experience. This is like in some schools where they used to teach you to have a finger space between the words. Well, that's fine if your fingers are the size of a small child, but here there's too much. And again, the text really just doesn't hang together. You need to have about the same space between the words as the space of a letter O of that alphabet. So a narrow alphabet will have less space. When it comes to spacing between lines, you need to allow enough for the descenders of one line, the bits that go down, not to clash with the ascenders, the bits that go up, of the next line. And here, obviously, you've got clashes. Now, in this instance, having more space isn't a fault because the lettering can look elegant, although it does take up a lot of paper, which you might not have. So generally, you need to leave the space between the lines so that you allow for the descenders and the ascenders not to clash. And just to show you that it takes makes no difference how long you've been doing calligraphy, and I've been doing it for quite a long time, you can finish writing out a piece and be quite happy with it and then realise when you look at it afterwards that you've actually, in the first word, missed out a letter. And that can be very frustrating.